Hi, I'm Donna Griggs, the CEO of Propel Change. If you have a continuous improvement program, my question to you today is, is it really continuous? So I was talking with Steve, who's a VP of Operations. We were having a cup of coffee and he was telling me all about his continuous improvement woes. Some of the things that he was complaining about is what I hear a lot. First of all, we're spending tons of money on consultants. We're actually doing a few projects, but not that many, because our people who are on the projects, they just don't have a lot of time. And you know, sometimes projects get canceled because our resources get pulled to other things. It's just, it's really difficult. It just doesn't seem like it's working very well. So I wanna tell you a little bit about our secret formula for our continuous improvement program. The very first thing we do is get leadership buy-in and show them how to be visible in the project, which is actually, we ask them to be a coach in the project and remove barriers when people are having trouble. Second, you have to be careful that you have consultants that wanna make you their career. So in our secret formula, what we do to get around that is we teach a lot of people how to train it, and then they can go in and train it in your company, your own employees. Third, you want frontline involvement. What we find is sometimes managers are in these projects. We have a manager in the project. They don't know everything about what happens. And so as a result, even though they may have more flexible time, they're not necessarily the best person to figure out what to do because they don't know everything. Another item that we really stress is small projects. If you have frontline people and they're doing great big projects, first of all, they don't like it. That's not fun for them. They are normally task-based people. Task-based people like projects. Ours, we say make sure it can be completed once it's implemented, somewhere between one hour and two weeks. So I'm talking small projects. It gives those people a way to learn and then to actually, if there's a risk issue, it's not gonna be on this project. They're very low risk. The next thing we do is we teach them something, then they immediately apply it. It's not a boot camp where for five days you go in, you learn everything there is, you go back to your office and you go, oh, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do about this. Not that those are bad, but we also know that from an adult learning perspective, the second I learn something, if I can use it right then, on my projects, in my organization, makes a world of difference. One of the places that makes the most difference is if you teach people how to figure out what the cost savings are. It's amazing how quickly that project becomes theirs. When you teach them how to calculate what the direct and indirect savings, what's ringing the cash register, and then also what kind of things are saving us time so that we can be doing things that we weren't able to do before. It just makes a huge difference in their buy-in. Another item is accountability for completion. The number of times that I've heard, we've never completed a project here at this organization, astounds me, astounds me. So when you have accountability for getting projects completed, but not only that saying, and what's your next project? That gets people in the mindset of continuous improvement really is continuous. Last, make absolutely sure that you have celebrations because when you celebrate success, it gives people this little oomph that they need to go do one more project. And they find it fun. The number of times that I have been told I didn't think this would be fun and now I look forward to what my next project is, is just amazing. So if you have a continuous improvement program and it's really not doing what you think it should be, ask some questions. Number one, is your leadership engaged? Because if your leadership isn't engaged, you're never gonna get where you wanna go. And are they visibly engaged? Are they helping people to make sure that they know what they're supposed to be doing? Number two, are all of your projects linked to your company goals? Because if they're not, I will guarantee you that some of those projects are going away, which then leads to the syndrome of, hey, <laughs> we've never actually completed a project around here. Ask yourself, are the right people on the projects? The way you resource projects has a lot to do with how successful they are. If you have a bunch of leaders completing a project that should be frontline people, 
because the leaders want the experience doing it, you're gonna not get the same results. Make sure you bring those frontline people in on the projects. Another thing you've got to look at is accountability. Do you have the right accountability in place? Are you holding people responsible for completing a project? It was really interesting. I had a client one time that said to somebody, no, you have to get this done by this time. It was one of the continuous improvement projects. And he said, yeah, but I'm really busy. He said, I need your commitment that you will get it done. And just because of that, I had leadership engagement, projects linked to the company goals, the right people on it, and accountability. It was amazing. Make sure you're celebrating. And make sure, most of all, that the efforts that you put into your continuous improvement program, you actually can continue. There's a lot of great continuous improvement programs out there, and every one of them can work. But what's really key is to make sure you have the leadership involvement, you stay the course, and the accountability is there. For more topics like this and to learn more about how we help our clients, please visit our website. We would love to hear from you.